able to start them up again. Um, I'll tell you the most striking statistic, actually, that, that we, we um, noticed was that in the United States, a full 30% of the population, 30%, has never used the internet, does not use the internet at all. Now, my guess is you could take some small slice of those people and say, well, actually, you did use the internet. You, weren't, you didn't really know you were doing it, or maybe you called it something else. But, but even if you, if you figure that accounts for you know, a third, it's still an enormous number of people, given the, the, the <laughs> essential nature of the internet for, for, for US society. It's a huge, huge gap. And so uh, a big part of our research agenda going forward is going to be about understanding who these people are, why are they not online, uh, uh, and, and also to understand what's the impact of either being online or not being online. One of the exciting intersections between this policy question and some of the, the tools that are being developed in the, in the semantic web environment, in the linked data environment, is that uh, more and more, uh, we're going to be able to look at this survey data, look at this census data, and put it on a map, and associate that data with other economic and social indicators that we know about those regions. So we're going to going to soon going to be able to get down to the state level, even the county level, even maybe even even maybe more more granularly, and and look at both the economic impact of uh, of. of broadband usage in places where it's used a lot and look at the corresponding uh, lack of impact, obviously, where it's not used as much. Um, so we think there's there's a whole lot of tremendously exciting research to, to, to be able to do. And a lot of doing it actually requires the kind of linked data techniques uh, that we've been talking about. It requires we be able to take the data we have from the Census Bureau, the data that we're going to get, uh, uh, about where broadband service is available, where it isn't available, data that we get from other parts of the government that, that establishes uh, indicators of economic activity uh, in different localities. And we're going to be able to get a picture of, of the, the internet economy at a level of detail that, that we've simply never been able to have before. Is it all going to be five-star data? <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's, 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 uh, the answer is, 